So the Oscars are March 2nd, 2014, and I'm excited for the Oscars. For this video, I'm going to be doing my predictions and what I think each category and who the winner is going to be. And then I'm just going to give you guys a quick update that on the Oscars Sunday, I will be doing live reactions to some of the main categories such as Best Picture, Actor, Actress, Supporting Actor, Supporting Actress, Best Directing, and Best Animated Feature Film. I don't really care much about all the other stuff. These are the ones that I really care about the most. So I'll be doing live reactions to those ones on Sunday. So expect those out. I know last year I did them and people, uh, there was mixed feelings on some of them. People laughed and some people disliked them. So I'm going to be doing it again because they're fun. So let's get started uh, with these predictions. I am on the Academy Awards homepage. Uh, the first one I see at the very bottom. Start, I'm going to start from the bottom then go to the top of the list. That's writing for original screenplay. We have nominated for American Hustle, Blue Jasmine, Dallas Buyers Club, Her, and Nebraska. And I think Her will take home the uh, award for writing the original screenplay because this was a very original movie. It was very out there. I loved every minute of it. So I think Her, uh, written by Spike John Z, will win that award. Writing adapted screenplay, uh, Before Midnight, Captain Phillips, Philomena, 12 Years a Slave, and The Wolf of Wall Street. And I think 12 Years a Slave will take that award. A screenplay by John R Ridley. Um, visual effects, uh, not really much of competition here. Gravity, The Hobbit, Desolation Smog, Iron Man 3, The Lone Ranger, and Star Trek Into Darkness. And Gravity uh, will take home the award for visual effects. And I think Gravity will take uh, home the awards for anything that has to do with like sound or editing. Uh, next up is Sound Mixing, Captain Phillips, Gravity, The Hobbit, Desolation Smog, Inside Lewin Davis, Lone Survivor. And I think Gravity is going to uh, win that award. Sound Editing, All is Lost, Captain Phillips, Gravity, The Hobbit, Desolation of Smog, and Lone Survivor. And I think Sound Editing will either go to... And I think that award will either go to Captain Phillips or Gravity, but I do think... Or even maybe Lone Survivor, but I think Gravity will take home sound editing. Short film, live action. I have not seen any of these movies, uh, these short films. There are five of them. Um, I will try to pronounce them the best I can. Uh, that Wasn't Me, which has a different title. Um, these are the English titles. Just Before Losing Everything. Helium. Do I have to... Do I have to take care of everything? And the Verman problem. Uh, I'm going to randomly pick one and go with just before losing everything. Uh, next up is short film animated. Feral, Get a Horse, Mr. Hublet, Possession, and Room on the Broom. I'm going to go with Possessions. Production Design, American Hustle, Gravity, The Great Gatsby, Her, and 12 Years a Slave. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with 12 Years a Slave. Uh, the production was really great. The designs, uh, the set design, everything, it really felt like um, the time that it was supposed to be taking place. Uh, music, original song, Happy from Despicable Me 2. Music and Lyric by Pharrell Williams. Let It Go from Frozen. Music and Lyric by Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez. The Moon Song from Her. And Ordinary Love from uh, Mandela. Long Walk to Freedom. And I hope... And I... I, th I think Let It Go from Frozen will take home that award. Music. Original Score. The Book Thief. John Williams. Gravity. Stephen Price, Her, William Butler, and Owen Pallet, Philomena, Alexander Desplat, and Save Mr. Banks, Thomas Newman. Uh, I think it was going to go to Gravity. Makeup and Hairstyling. Dallas Buyers Club, Jackass Presents, Bad Grandpa, which still is odd to me, even though it it does it is great makeup. Just to see that movie in the Oscars is a little weird. And The Lone Ranger, uh, definitely going to go to Dallas Buyers Club. Foreign Language Film, The Broken Circle Breakdown, The Great Beauty, The Hunt, The Missing Picture, and Omar. And uh, the two that I have heard of is The Great Beauty and The Hunt. 
but I heard a lot of great things about The Hunt, so I'm going to have to go with The Hunt. Uh, film editing, American Hustle, Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, Gravity, and 12 Years Slave. I think that's going to go to Gravity. Documentary, Short Subject, Cave Digger, Facing Fear, Calmer Has No Walls, The Lady, and the Number 6, Music Saved My Life, and Prison Terminal, The Last Days of Private Jack Hall. Let's go with that one, Jack Hall. Documentary feature, The Act of Killing, Cutie and the Boxer, Dirty Wars, The Square, 20 Feet from Stardom. I have heard a few of these, and I'm going to have to go with The Act of Killing. Directing, now these are the, this is the big one. Um, this one I'm iffy about, actually. you got David O. Russell for American Hustle, Alfonso Caron for Gravity, Alexander Payne for Nebraska, Steve McQueen for 12 Years a Slave, and Martin Scorsese for The Wolf of Wall Street. Personally, I would like to see Martin Scorsese take home the war for Wolf of Wall Street. But let's be real about this. It's probably going to be Alfonso Cuaron for Gravity or Steve McQueen for 12 Years a Slave. But I'm going to have to go with uh, Alfonso Cuaron. Costume design. American Hustle, Grandmaster, Great Gatsby, Visible Woman, and 12 Years a Slave. Remember last year, I, think it, I thought it was going to be like Lincoln. But uh, surprisingly, that movie with Kira Knightley took home the award. Um, maybe that's The Invisible Woman. But right now, I'm going to go with uh, 12 Years a Slave, and maybe there'll be an upset. Cinematography. The Grandmaster, Gravity, Inside, Lewin Davis, Nebraska, and Prisoners. Um, Prisoners had did have great cinematography. Inside, Inside Lewin Div Davis did as well. Nebraska, again... There's Gravity again up in there. Um, a lot of talk with Gravity and 12 Years a Slave on the big awards, a lot of the awards. But, um, you know, Prisoners didn't get much love at the Oscars this year in Nebraska, Inside Lewis. Nebraska did, Inside Lewin Davis, not as much. Um, Grandmaster, not so much. So I'm going to have to go with Gravity again. Am animated feature film. A lot of great movies here. The Croods was great. Despicable Me Too was all right. Ernest and Celestine haven't seen. Frozen, I love that movie. And The Wind Rises, actually I'm going to go see tonight. But I'm going to have to go with Frozen or um, The Wind Rises. I uh, heard The Wind Rises is really great. And it's Hayao Miyazaki's last film. Uh, but I'm going to have to go with Frozen. Actress in a supporting role. Sally Hawkins for Blue Jasmine, haven't seen that movie. Jennifer Lawrence for American Hustle. Not going to even attempt this name, uh, but the girl from 12 Years a Slave. Julia Roberts for August Osage County and June Squibb for Nebraska. You can pretty much cancel out June Squibb, Julia Roberts, and Sia Hawkins. Um, it's going to be a tight race between the girl from 12 Years a Slave and Jennifer Lawrence. Um, if the girl from 12 Years a Slave wasn't in it, I would say it's a definite bet, definite bet for Jennifer Lawrence, but she does have some competition. So I'm going to have to go with the girl from 12 Years a Slave because her performance was really good. Actor in a supporting role. A lot of great uh, selections this year. You know, you get Bakar Abdi for Captain Phillips. Bradley Cooper for American Hustle. Michael Fassbender for 12 Years a Slave. Jonah Hill again for The Wolf of Wall Street. And Jared Leto for The Dallas Buyers Club. All, everybody gave great performances. But the one that stood out to me the most was Michael Fassbender in 12 Years a Slave. So the award hopefully will go to him. Actress in a leading role, Amy Adams for American Hustle, Kate Blanchett for Blue Jasmine, Sandra Bullock for Gravity, Judy Dench for Philomena, and uh, Meryl Streep for August Osage County. You know, this one's a little tough uh, now looking at it. Uh, Amy Adams there again. Sandra Bullock, uh, I don't know, the this, I don't think, her performance was good, but just not out there. The Gravity was more of a visual movie. Um, than anything else. Kate Blanchett, I haven't seen in Blue Jasmine. I haven't seen August Osage County and Meryl Streep again in there. Uh, Judy Dench was pretty good in Philomena. I think I'm just going to go with Amy Adams for American Hustle. Actor in a leading role. This is a great uh, selection here as well. Um, hard to pick. Christian Bell in American Hustle. I don't think he'll take it. Bruce Dern, Nebraska. Cancel him out. Leonardo DiCaprio and The Wolf of Wall Street. I want it to be his year. 
Chewy Tail, Edgy of Four for 12 Years of Slave, and Matthew McConaughey for Dallas Buyers Club. It's going to be between Leo, Matthew, and Chewy Tail. Um, but I think Chewy Tail, Edgy of Four will take home the award of Best Actor in a Leading Role. Now it's time for the big award, the one that I look forward to the whole night, and it's the end of the show, and that's Best Picture. So we have American Hustle, Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, Gravity, Her, Nebraska, Philomena, 12 Years a Slave, and The Wolf of Wall Street. The ones that you can uh, cancel out, in my opinion, would be Captain Phillips, Dallas Buyers Club, Her, Philomena, and Nebraska. Uh, American Hustle has a slight chance. I think that the ones that will be um, the main talks will be The Wolf of Wall Street, 12 Years a Slave, and Gravity. Um, then you can cancel out The Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, come down to 12 Years a Slave and Gravity, and I do think 12 Years a Slave will take home the award for Best Picture. Uh, more and more talk each day as it gets closer to the big night. So I do think 12 Years a Slave will take home the award for Best Picture. So comment down below and give me some of your predictions for some certain categories. Uh, best Picture, who do you think will take home the award? Um, best Actor, Best Actress, let me know. I'm curious to see what everybody's thoughts are on the... Um, the Oscars. Remember guys, I'll be doing live reactions um, that night for probably for the ones I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Best picture, best actor, best actress, supporting actor, supporting actress, animated feature film, and best directing. So these are the ones I'll be covering because those are the ones I'm looking forward to the most. So this is Justin Watch the Movies with his um, Oscar predictions for the 2014 Oscars. Look for some videos for the Oscars on Sunday night when they are aired. And, and I hope everybody enjoys the Oscars. And I'll see you later. Bye.